What's going on guys? I am finally back from my super long holiday, which means I'm finally ready to give you my final opinion on my new Nintendo 3DS XL. So overall, I'm actually really happy with the 3DS. There's still a couple of negatives which are still bothering me, such as the analog stick still is very um, slippery at times. And lucky enough, very few games in the 3DS catalog actually force you to use that analog stick, or so I've been told. And I found that's the case with all five games that I own. I believe it was only The Legend of Zelda which actually forced me to only use that analog stick. So I've obviously always preferred to use the D-pad. Just it gives you that more tactile feel when you don't feel like you're slipping around like you do on the analog stick. And again, if you think that's something that's going to bother you, like I mentioned previously in my other video, you can buy snap-on grips for it. And I've been told they are quite good for alleviating that issue. And for me, again, I keep coming back to, again, like I said in the previous video, screen resolution. It's not a massive deal. And I guess for what you pay for the device, it may seem expensive and have a big price tag. But I guess when you compare the screen resolution to a phone, a phone obviously blows it out of the water. But again, look at the price tag that's attached to the phone. They have really good high quality screens. So obviously Nintendo's done a really good job of trying to keep the cost of this device down. So younger people like kids who this is targeted for can actually afford the device. And again, when you actually get down to it and you're gaming on it, the screen resolution isn't a massive deal anyway. It's just me being nitpicky. And that's really about it as far as the negatives go. All in all, the device is really comfortable to handle. The controls are really comfortably positioned. Things like the audio coming out of the device, it's okay. Again, I wouldn't expect it to blow you out of the water for a handheld, just like a phone, like coming out of tiny speakers, the audio is never gonna be fantastic. It's always just acceptable. And again, that's not a problem because if you're blasting volume out of this in public, then you're an asshole. Get some headphones like I did. As far as the 3D goes, like I said in the other video, I was having some issues getting used to it. I did actually eventually get used to it after probably a couple of weeks of kind of trying to slowly integrate it into my play sessions. Even though I have gotten used to it and it is comfortable to use, I actually have chosen not to use it. I've realized I just actually prefer gaming in just standard 2D. However, the 3D is actually the best use of 3D I've seen in a gaming form, TV, cinema. It is a very, very immersive, accurate 3D. So as far as the operating system goes and the home screen goes, I honestly didn't really tinker around with it much. I pretty much just slapped the cartridge in and bang, I just started gaming. And in that sense, booting to games and swapping games is incredibly fast and easy. It's literally pop the cartridge out, stick a cartridge in, bang, automatically boots. If for whatever reason you have to slap it shut because you're obviously on the move, you might be jumping off a train or something like that or boarding an airplane like myself, then slapping it shut's not gonna be an issue because it basically just puts the device to sleep. And when you do wanna continue your gaming session, you just flick the lid up, bang, ready to roll straight where you left off. What you probably do need to be careful with though is if you are shutting it mid gaming session, does use a fair bit of battery in standby mode. So I do recommend if you want a prolonged battery life between charges to shut down your games, save the progress and just turn the device off. In terms of the battery life though, I was actually quite impressed with the 3DS battery life. On my flight to the UK, which again was 20 plus hours, I probably played for a good solid eight hours of that trip. And again, I did have it in auto brightness mode which was actually quite comfortable for my eyes. I did try flicking it up to maximum brightness or close to maximum brightness. And for me, that's just too bright anyway. So you're probably gonna find that if you pick this up and you leave it in auto brightness mode, it will be quite comfortable to your eyes and it does adjust to the lighting in the environment. So it, it does make it quite convenient and comfortable and it is a lot kinder to your battery. So overall, I was quite pleased with the battery Really, I only charged the device a handful of times over the course of my trip. Again, if you're sitting on the couch at home with the brightness up and you want to have an eight hour play session, you probably will obviously be charging the battery. But if you are just sitting around, obviously you're just going to have it on charge anyway. But for gaming on the go, the battery is fine. 
As far as the software goes that I picked up for it, such as The Legend of Zelda, Yoshi's Island, Dragon Ball, oh god what was the other one? Fire Emblem. I don't know how I forgot that one. That one was absolutely fantastic. But what I have kind of picked up on is these 3DS games aren't half-assed games. They're very polished experiences and I enjoyed all four of them actually. And I imagine it's probably the same story with a lot of the other software you can pick up for the 3DS. So in a nutshell guys, I'm really happy with the 3DS. I'm glad I picked it up for my trip. Whether I continue to play it as much as I have been now that I'm home and I have my PC, my PS4 and my Xbox, we'll see. It'll probably be one of those devices that I'm just unwinding with at the end of the night in bed, maybe while my girlfriend's reading a book or something. I can pick it up for 20 minutes, have a quick session before bed. I might keep you posted on my Twitter in the future as to how it's going. But all in all, if you are someone who travels a lot, you know, to and from work to uni or university, it's a good device to pick up. If phone gaming and all that kind of stuff isn't your thing and you want a handheld, pick it up. It's fantastic. If there's anything that I've overlooked that you might be curious about, feel free to drop a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter. I'll be more than happy to fill you in on my opinion about whatever you're curious about. So that's it guys, the 3DS gets a big thumbs up from me. If you like this video guys, please rate, comment and subscribe. And remember, hit me up on Twitter, I'll have a link for that down below in the description and it's up in my banner. Other than that guys, I'm Sully, this is One Guy's Opinion and I'll catch you next time.